Jess. I just want to drop in and have a morning chat with you guys. I just woke up. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to chat about the homestead and what it's like. Sorry, I'm a hot mess this morning. I'm really exhausted. Sometimes when you live on a homestead and you're trying to make everything work, unexpected things happen. Now, every year for oh, the last seven years, me and my husband has raised two feeder pigs to butcher out. And we've done that, like I said, for seven years. And this past year, with everything going on in the world, um, prices in the stores, it just made more sense to breed our pigs and raise our own piglets up and try to make a little bit of a profit out of it instead of every year buying two new feeder pigs. So that's what we did. And yes, we expected our pigs to be pregnant, but we didn't expect them to come this fast. So yesterday was a really exhausting day for us. The piglets came, we weren't prepared. I know that's our fault, but um, I expected at least another month before they were born, but that didn't happen. So after all my normal chores and everything, trying to run around and get that done, the piglets were born, so we had to go out there and make sure that they were okay. Um, my pigs' names are Reba and Loretta. Reba is the one that gave birth, and she gave birth to 11 piglets. We did lose two. So we were outside all day long, running back and forth. Of course, I'm cooking and canning and doing my house chores on top of that. And I'm not trying to say, I'm not complaining at all. I love my lifestyle, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying if there's people out there that want to get into homesteading, no, it's not easy. And some days are harder than others. Yesterday was one of my hard days. Uh, I have back issues. I don't bend well. I have to be really careful with my back. So putting extra work on top of what I already do um, wears me down a lot. So we spent most of the time out there in the pig pen um, making sure everybody was safe, everybody was fed, and um, we didn't get into the house until probably 10 o'clock last night. And by that time, I was just so exhausted. I went straight to bed, I didn't get my shower. And that's the point I'm making. When you're raising animals, you, a lot of times you have to put yourself aside and put them first. And that's what I did yesterday. Yeah, I look a hot mess. I haven't done my hair, I haven't showered or anything. I know, gross, right? But sometimes that's just the way of life. Um, hoping to get into the shower this morning I've already been out and I've checked on the piglets I've counted them made sure that they were warm and safe and everybody is doing good continue to watch to the end of the uh, video and I'll insert some pictures so you guys can see the piglets and hopefully sometime today I'll get around to going out there and getting a video of them so you can see all their cuteness I love them. This is, like I said, my first litter, so this is new learning experience. And they seem to be all doing good and healthy. Also, yesterday was Sunday, so I'm kind of disappointed because I miss church. I go to church every Sunday. Sundays for me are my easy days, my lazy days. Those are the only days that I don't do anything other than go to church, and I do go to church um, once in the morning and once in the evening. Also ended up having um, baby ducks hatch out. We had seven of those hatch. Uh, they're Muscovy, and I think they're crossed with my Peking ducks, so we'll see when they get a little bit bigger. I've got seven of those. Five of them are um, yellow which would be, you know, the coloring of Peking. And then I've got two brown ones, which would be the coloring of Muscovy. But we'll see when they get a little bit bigger. Um, I don't know. I love the homestead life. Like I said, I, 
I wouldn't change it for anything. My husband, on the other hand, he's a little bit older than me. He, I drive him crazy with my animals. I love spring. I love summer. I love when new, new animals are being born and life is being created. And his enjoyment comes from watching me and my excitement. He's done this long, way longer than me. Um, he grew up on this property and his mom and dad always had gardening and animals and a homestead, although that's not what it was called back then. But he doesn't get the excitement as I do other than watching me see my excitement for my animals. But he puts up with me because he loves me. Thank goodness. <laughs> he was just threatening me the other day that if I had one more animal show up on the property, he was getting rid of all of them. And then the piglets were born and the baby ducks were born. So, although he was trying to be mad at me, he couldn't because I was so excited. And I was screaming like a little girl running around. Well, not running, but, you know full of excitement, excited that the pigs were coming, and just being able to witness that and be a part of it was amazing. So anyways, like I said, I'll insert some pictures of the piglets here in a moment. If you would please click um, the like button below, subscribe, and just watch me through my journey, and I hope you enjoy this video. And as promised, I said I'd show the little piglets. Here's Mama Reba. She had 11 piglets, and she has nine healthy ones. We lost two. She is a Tamworth, and the daddy is a New Hampshire. And they're so cute. So here's the piggies, guys. 